at Abu Awad stone quarry, medjok quality stones are left for the Israeli market. Stone with better physical properties are kept for the Palestinian market. Resistance, however, is not the motivation. Stone used today as cladding doesn't require high structural properties. But Palestinians insist quite irrationally on using the best out of stone. It has something to do with pride. Good morning, all. I'm Lias. This is Youssef. We are partners at AAU Anastas. And today, we are going to talk about space in Palestine as a state of mind. The whole story started with this guy, Salim I, who is the, uh, an Ottoman sultan who came to Palestine in 1517. And um, the Ottoman Empire marked the arrival of urban authority. As a symbol, stone shifted from being a natural choice for construction to an imposed rule. And uh, this, um, this law is still uh, ruling Palestine's urbanism in Bethlehem, uh, Hebron, or Ramallah. Um, but today, while constructions uh, while reinforced concrete gained some grounds, this law that is de facto obsolete pushed stone into the background as a cladding material. Um, this is what a Palestinian city looks like. The only light motive of recent Palestinian urbanism is territory conquest. What you build is what you keep. This represents an inversion of the relationship to space that can be found in typical Palestinian cities. In the, in the, Palestinian, in the Palestinian city model, the nodal point is very concentrated and is withdrawn, thus giving a, a way to an environment of typical lands and landscapes. The unbuilt is a main component of the city, but unfortunately the use of space, and in particular public space, uh, has been uh, transformed ever since urban authority has been in place. It started by shifting uh, from a self-managed urbanism to uh, an authority urbanism during the Ottoman Empire. And uh, the British pursued by um, bringing six brilliant British town planners and formed even town planning commissions. They introduced buildings of another scale, institutions that impinged on the vast olive workers that surrounded the city. Uh, with British and the Ottomans, space use, uh, space use shifted from being an appropriated space to an, to an attributed power-based space. And under recent conflictual situation, uh, a new space use regime has been added to appropriation and attribution, expropriation has been, uh, has been introduced. So design no longer um, considers public space. All what matters is territory consumption. At our office, we try to understand the way public space has been disregarded as an architectural design tool while it was inherent to, uh, to local architecture typologies. Our hypothesis is to believe that the last witness in date of what could be defined as a typical Palestinian city is the one that included public space in its architectures through the use of space typologies. One of them is the Hosh. And the Hosh is an, enclosed, is an enclosed space, introverted and surrounded by houses. But at the same time, it's an open and collective space. It is typically what we would name a semi-public space. It is a shared entrance, a shared kitchen, uh, a shared uh, outdoor space. And at the same time, the inhabitants of the houses uh, belong to that space typology. So, so the Music Conservatory project has been thought as a reaction to um, the um, to the has been thought as a reaction to the exclusion of public space uh, in the design process. Our response is um, is to scale up its uh, historic existing typologies, the Hosh is, uh, used to, is used to connect the music conservatory to the urban fabric of the city. Um, while the Hosh is an enclosed surrounded space linking houses together, uh, 
the, the space that we created had one side wide open towards the city. What is special about space typologies is that uh, they're abstract, they can transform, and uh, um, a space typology has, can have any size. It's a generic tool to build urbanity. Beginning the thinking of a project by the opposite end of the planning spectrum, from the bottom up, from uh, architectural typologies to urban planning, helps us merge into the deep understanding of the local know-hows and the capacity of widening um, the uh, initial end uh, result to new users. So what if, uh, the, 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 what if the, the, the National Conservatory defined as a rescale of a house had the ability to uh, enhance the creation of a larger urban entity what if the city became once again a juxtaposition of space typologies? We managed to get the mayor of Bitsahur as convinced as we were. We thought that the, uh, the house of the conservatory had to be extended and, uh, and put into tension with the, with the city. On a fortunate day, the mayor accepted our proposal. Reuse of urban conformations in Palestine is possible because the structure of its urban authority is flexible and accessible. The obtained result is a um, crossing between uh, the uh, space typology and the pedestrian zoo. This public space grows from the heart of the city and flows into the urban density. The the, uh, all volumes are given unity through the use of uh, local stone from Surmain. Although the, although the Ottoman rule seems completely obsolete, the chosen material gives, uh, gives a unity to the buildings and interacts with the colors and the uh, surrounding landscapes. Um, on summer evenings, on summer evenings, the central space uh, can be uh, easily transformed into a concert hall. Actually, this space, um, the multi-use of this space, went beyond our expectations. During the construction, uh, during the construction, this space has been transformed into a place of collective uh, creation, with the artisans, the bricklayers, the masons, and the contractors. This is the director of the conservatory. He, show, he showed up one day on, in the house uh, with bad news. No budget remained for the furniture of the building. At that day, we had organized with the artisans an Idra lunch, which is a special meal that celebrates a specific phase of the construction uh, process. All of the artisans were present, and none of them accepted the idea to bring in Chinese furniture. We were all up to the challenge and decided to fabricate the furniture of the building. A week later, the director of the conservatory was back in the same space, testing, testing the prototype that we have produced with the artisans. We were all apprehensive of his verdict, but we, we did not really doubt that he would love the furniture. He was actually surrounded by a dozen of artisans looking at him with a threat, quite threatening look, we have to say. So these are the several chairs and furniture that we have uh, designed for the project. Each one of them holds the name of the artisan that, were, that was responsible of the production. And since even after the completion of the project, we maintained this relationship with the artisans uh, through the creation of um, uh, furniture making uh, uh, network that we call local industries that invo involves uh, a carpenter, a blacksmith, an upholsterer, an engineer, and an architect. Uh, Sari Hanafi, a Palestinian sociologist, used the term spatiocide to describe um, the uh, voluntarily destruction and elimination of space where population lives 
and local industries is also about the idea of resisting to comply, to abandon the use of public space. Public space must be a place of collective creation, a place for the diffusion of uh, information. So we decided uh, to invest Bethlehem's Nativity Square with a stone pavilion that adapts traditional techniques to the imperatives of, uh, of resistance within the framework of the Palestinian public space. In Palestine, the, uh, the stone benefits from an advanced know-how, and we even have a specific uh, name for the master stone builders, which is Banna. So this guy is Ali Safadi, he's a Banna, and uh, he was known for, for, his, um, for his skills in cross-vaulting uh, construction. And he was famous all across the country for bringing his own stones from his hometown village of Safad on a donkey. But unfortunately, these skills are disappearing because the massive stone constructions are no longer compatible with the uh, construction programs. So uh, the, only, the only thing prevailing is uh, one exclusive building technology and uh, nothing else. So the stone sourcing space So the stone sourcing space is, um, has the ambition of um, the, the stone sourcing space has the ambition of reinvestigating uh, the construction, the, the the exclusive building technique, by presenting stone as an economical and innovative uh, alternative. It relies on um, novel design, simulation, and fabrication processes, and. Um, whether it was rescaling uh, an architecture typology to, um, to create an urban entity in the case of the music conservatory or using innovative means to, uh, to voluntarily link the scale of construction techniques to urban morphology, it was all along about scales. So we decided to create a research laboratory, Scales, that is consistently enhanced by the, um, by the idea of uh, linking scales that are otherwise opposed. Thank you.